Hey, housewives, come on in. You know the dirty dishes are still in the sink from yesterday and the laundry is still in the basket. Pop your AirPods in and make yourself at home here. I'm Tracy. I'm Tori. And And we we are your Unlikely Housewives. Stepping out in faith and believing that God calls the unlikely, we are here to show you the appreciation and validation you deserve, lead you to authentic relationships, and release you of believing the cultural lies to restore your faith and wellness. Pull up those high-waisted yoga pants, tighten your top knot, and reheat your coffee for the third time. Turn up the volume and let's go. Hey, housewives, welcome back. Hey, housewives. I wish they could see you right now. I I have a feeling you're going to post the picture when this episode (laughs) drops of my patheticness. Clumsy me used a 12 pound dumbbell and hit my head and it hurts badly. She was working out. I was working out. I just didn't. (laughs) I wasn't just like, a a, oh, crap, I'm icing it. But it was yesterday and it still hurts. So, but I don't have a, I hope I don't have a concussion. How do you know if you have a concussion? I shouldn't have fallen asleep if I had a concussion, right? And I was, I think, I think there'd be other signs if you did. Okay. All of these things that I'm about to share and people are going to be like, well, no, she's lived with the a concussion. of this it is, is very, very fitting. Poor. Very fitting. <laughs> just, my husband's just going to go, oh, this is good. So when he is trying to commit me to the insane asylum, <laughs> he'll be like, here, just listen to episode 38. That'll tell you. <laughs> All the reasons why she's not well. So I'm sure my children will use this against me at some point in time. I know that's the bad part. Anything that's on here and that we publish, golden. It is. It is. It's forever written into the internet history. <laughs> so because anything on the internet lives forever. Remind your children that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> PSA. Anything. It doesn't matter if it's on Snapchat and it quote unquote disappears, mom. Someone no. screenshot it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we are here and it is a, oh, it's a day because we, we thought that we could lighten up the mood a little bit with this. Like, yeah. Again, very fitting that I have a very large ice pack sitting on my hand. And so we thought we would share with you some of our mom fails and wife fails. Well, Tori's and, just going to share hers because I don't have any. Yeah, let's go with that story. <laughs> Uh, and no, it's just the fact that Tracy doesn't have her, the memory capacity right now to remember any of hers. So we'll do an episode that's just hers. No, you guys, this is terrible. Like, I had a little book I remember that I would write things down, like kids say the darndest things. And I would put funnies in there. I even called my husband and I'm like, can we talk about this? Like, I know we've got some and we reminisced about a few. But then we were like, they're funny to us, not other people. Well, one of them I think you should share because we've all sent a text to someone we shouldn't have sent to someone. That is true. That is, I mean, that in itself is just the beauty of technology these days. And Except for if you're a new iPhone user, you can unsend. You've got those few seconds. But only to other iPhone users. I think. I don't know. I don't think it's to, to those who we don't speak of, Androids. <laughs> We all have those green friends. <laughs> we do. You know you you green line people. So the group chat, you're the one fail in the exactly. group chat. Exactly. We can't all send stuff. And to. then every response when somebody likes something, then it's like separate. Like, separate. Yes. And you're like, I don't need this ten times in a text message. On that note, so the first one I want to share is honestly, it's from this morning, which just reminds me that these happen whenever you're thinking. And so the one this morning was with both my girls and Emsley had crawled into bed with us to snuggle this morning a little bit. And I'm in the bathroom curling my hair. And before I know it, I hear her little voice and she is singing a song, making up words about our dog, Belle. And so she's just got this song going on with Belle and just singing. And I don't know, she's snuggling with daddy. and then. The, the song dies down and then I hear her just just poking, you know, you, you know, like the like, OK, daddy, repeat after me. No, I don't want to repeat after you. No, repeat after me. No, no, I've got to get up. No, you don't. No, you don't. You stay here. Just, and it's just like you just poke, poke, poke. And Andrew does the same thing to me because he likes to poke and annoy me. And 
and it's fun for him. And so anyway, she's doing that to him. And then she's, you know, just pushing his buttons the best way that she can. So she walks out of the room. Finally, we get her to go get dressed for school. And I turn to Andrew and I go, oh, my gosh, she is just like you. <laughs> he just goes, I have no idea what you're talking about. And of course he does. He, he knows exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> because he's the same man that has made up songs, which some of them are inappropriate and I can't repeat here. But he has a dog for our old Samantha. Uh, it was called Silly No Pants Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, so literally it is the exact same thing. And so we go on and a couple of minutes later, Jules comes walking in, the youngest, and she turns to Andrew. And today's Tuesday, right? Today's Tuesday? Yes. Yes. Okay. For context, the Chiefs played Sunday night yes. and won the AFC. Correct. So they're going to the Super Bowl. Anyways, she comes up and she goes, Daddy, did the Chiefs win last night? And he looks at me and then he looks at her and he goes, yes. Yes, they did. And she goes, what was the score? And he goes, oh, it, it was 23 to 20. Exact same score as uh, Sunday. And she goes, so they, they won again? And he, he goes, yes. Oh, good. Okay. So to give y'all context, last night was Monday night. My girls came. I picked them up from gymnastics late. My husband happened to be watching the AFC replay. And their girls, the girls were confused. They were like, wait, why are the Chiefs playing again? And he goes, oh, last night was so cold. It didn't count. They have to play again because it's warmer today. And <laughs> my girls went to bed thinking that that was the truth. And so Jules wanted to make sure that they won the second game to make <laughs> sure that they could play in the Super Bowl. And so as Andrew's doing that, I look at him and he goes, he finally turns it out and he goes, I'm kidding. He's like, that was a joke, Jules. I was making, they didn't have to play again because it was too cold. And she goes, oh. And he goes, aren't you glad I told you before you started talking to your it's classmates cool. about this? And she goes, yeah. And then she walked away and Andrew, without skipping a beat, turns to me and goes, she is so just like you. I think we all have those stories. Oh, just and I just like said. You. Oh, that's, yeah, that's me. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely me. So they have the best of us, our best characteristics <laughs> and our worst characteristics. Yes, they do. They do. And I just was like, if that doesn't sum us up very quickly in our children. The poking. That happens in our house. The poking. It, and there's only two of them that do it out of my four. Okay. But are you and Chris ones to do like. Oh, no, not you and Chris. Just Chris. Oh, he pokes. he's the one that is he, always like, the, the instigator. Joke. Oh, yeah. Like he just this morning. And he just wants to. You, and Andrew knows when I'm running late and then he'll come up behind me. And yeah. So this morning, funny that we are sharing this. This is typical. I'm making lunches for the kids for school. And I have to make the lunches for the kids for school because my son and daughter are gluten free, dairy free and all the things. And so or as Andrew calls it, the fun free, fun free. I have gluten-free tortillas. If you have a great one, send me a message. Um, I've yet to find a good one that oh, just sticks together. We were out of bread. I was making a roll-up, just a ham turkey roll-up for both of my kids. And I kid you not, the package has 10. When I opened the package and I was just trying to take them out, I tore the first three. So I literally just threw three away. And if you know anything about eating like this, it's expensive. Yeah, and those then, are not cheap tortillas. Then I take the tortilla that is, you know, hole and I zap it a little bit because it, when it's warm, it rolls a little bit better. I put it together and I cut it in half. I put little toothpicks on the end. That's what I do. I went about making everything else. I came back and the sucker had ripped on both sides and flipped out like the whole roll up was done. And I was kind of throwing things around in the kitchen. I was a little angry. Chris comes down. He notices this morning and he just starts poking because he can tell I'm in a bad mood. I'm just angry. You know, it's, it's simple things, but I just get in a mood. Right. So mm -hmm. he starts poking, 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 poking. Two kids go to school. The littles are just there. And I come back. OK, and so give me an example of what he's doing, like what he's saying to you. Oh, he's like, I mean, he's just meets me in the pantry and he's like, oh, trying to find something to replace the wrap. You know, like just 
poking about the issue. Uh-huh. And he like bumped into me and he's like, oh, no grace there. Like, no, no hug. Like, are you in a bad mood? Like, just pokey pokey. Yeah. And then, then he does it. He like makes a comment to Garrett. Garrett was like, what's wrong, mom? And he's like, oh, she's just going to ruin her whole day because the rap didn't work. And so I looked at him and I was like, so are you trying to really make me mad or are you just driving me nuts, going to drive me nuts? And he's like, a little bit of both. Like, just poke, poke, poke until I'm like really mad about it. Right. And it's not supposed to be anything I'm mad about. And that's it. But it's so funny how they can tell that we're getting frustrated with something. And then they just like kind of just want to go, you know, just twist it in just a little bit deeper. Oh, I know and what it was. I said, are you just making fun of me? Are you trying to keep me mad? No, it's like there. a little bit of both. I'm like, no, not even OK. Yeah. So instead of just going, hey, babe, it's, it's OK. It's just a tortilla. It's I fine. know, right? Like, who did we marry? We're glutton for punishment. We don't do anything like that. We don't. We're, we're we don't per- nag. We are perfect wives. I don't yes. know what they've got going on. <laughs> OK, so. This one I'm going to share is, this is the reason why even before my children were born, even before COVID was uh, anything, before they were working on it in the lab, okay, years ago, Andrew and I already knew that homeschooling was never going to be an option for me because there were just things that I I don't say well. I get metaphors mixed up all the time. I you know, I don't say them right. And so if you're familiar with NCIS, the original one, Ziva, was, she was Israeli and she would mix up metaphors all the time. And so my one of my nicknames my husband calls me is Ziva. There's an acronym for BOAT, which is break out another thousand. OK, and that's the joke that you're always having to fix something for a boat and it's never a cheap fix for a boat, right? And so that was something. And I don't know what we were talking about something or we were talking about how the best kind of boat to have is a friend's boat. And, you know, like <laughs> same thing with pool, Tracy. It's the yeah, same way. I do uh, know. Don't yeah. worry, I'm going to spend quite a bit of money to get that fixed. I know. This month, so and y'all can enjoy it. I was going to say, and we're really <laughs> thankful that we can enjoy that. We'll have to move the podcast studio to your house over the summer. <laughs> so anyways, we're talking about that. And I was like talking about the boat. And I'm like, oh, yeah, break out another grand. And Andrew, I kid you not, turns and just looks at me like, what? And I go, break out another grand. And he goes, the wag? <laughs> I'm like, thousand, break out another thousand. That's, that's what. I mean, you should get so much credit for like trying. I was, that was, yes, exactly. Exactly. I you just don't get enough credit. I mean, and when <laughs> we're funny, I don't know if this is the way it is with your husband, but when you're funny, it's just not as funny to them as if they were funny. Oh, no. I think Andrew gets to laugh at me very rarely with me. Okay. And, and when I think I'm funny, he just looks at me and just shakes his head. And I'm like, when you're like really could great. you just laugh? Please, this is good. And I'm like, hey, believe it or not, I'm, other people think I'm funny. <laughs> and he just <laughs> is like, yeah, they're laughing at you. So we are. They are. And I was like, okay. Well, it's there's better that. to be laughed with than at, I guess guess isn't that the same better wait what to laugh with than to be laughed at i think so that's that's how i <laughs> kind of operate <laughs> i would rather be laughed with than at and then so like, like awkward mom moments or mom fails i mean i remember once where i wrote down the time of the birthday party wrong and kids birthday parties are about two hours right because there's a sweet spot of where you can have lots of other people's children at your house or at a function. And then that two hour mark, you're like, peace out, kids. See you later. I'm yeah. I'm done. And that's why sleepover is not my thing. And so I remember showing up an hour late to drop off a kid at a birthday party. I want to say it was probably Jules because second kid always gets the crap, right? Um, <laughs> so I dropped her off an hour late and I was like, I'll be back in 45 minutes. I'm sorry. And At least you knew that it was. I an think hour she late. missed. I think she missed cake. Well, I think I figured it out on the way there. Mm. Yeah, because my does. calendar was different. And then when I went to the Evite to get the address, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, 
Yeah, that was a good one. We so. say two hours. I say three hours because that hour before the birthday party is when I have to leave and head to Target to get the gift for the birthday party person. Oh, you know, so that's how we roll. I have to get the gift on the way to the party. OK, so here, mom hack. Remember this. OK, what I do is when I'm in Target and the end cap, uh-huh. right, sometimes they'll have toys or stuff like just random craft things because I have girls. So girl birthday parties. Yeah. If there's a fun looking one, like on the, like I just pick up three or four of them and just the rant, you know, I'm like, okay. And I literally keep them in the closet. And that way I know, okay, this is for this party. Like, and just as birthday parties come up, I also like, if I see board games on sale, I like to give board games as gifts. Um, cause I don't want the parents to hate me. So I try to avoid (laughs) things with small parts, glitter, slime, and anything that's loud. Yes, that's that kind of, those, those are if good. you are new to the parenting game, <laughs> nobody wants their child to have anything with small beads, small parts, glitter, slime or anything loud. So don't be that friend. <laughs> I've literally texted my friends after they've given my kids a gift. And I'm like, do you did I do something to piss you off? Because <laughs> this is a lot of small things And they're like, no, no. And I'm like, what were you thinking? And they're like, I'm sorry, my child picked it out. And I'm like, no, no, no. We hit the age of like gift cards win. I mean, my youngest, she would get like an actual gift for somebody. But the older three, like very rarely is there like an actual birthday party celebration anymore. And if they do get together, it's like a gift card and candy. That's the thing. Oh. So it's real easy. That these is. Days. Yeah, but I, that is fun. I mean, because I mean, I've got nieces and nephews that are much older and like, I still can't bring myself to give them gift cards because I'm like, no, tell me what you want. Like, even if it's something because I'm like, well, yeah, on that kind of a situation with this family, you can find out what they want. You know, it's hard when you're like, that's true. You're going through third party because you're like, what is your friend like? Yeah. Ponies? Well, I'm not (laughs) buying her a pony. What do you want me to get her? Okay, so here's another one. Okay. I can't remember the whole joke, but this one, even Tracy didn't know this one when I shared it with her before (laughs) this. This is so dumb. It so is. dumb. But it again, this dumb. just this just shows like you've seen the meme that it was like, I was today years old when I figured out or found out blank. Mm-hmm. OK, so here's one. And the, I guess the question is, here's the here's the problem with me sharing this is I'm going to get the first part wrong, too. Andrew's going to listen to this and be like, you even got the freaking joke wrong. So this is just all a hot mess. But the joke is, is like, hey, have you seen the rope? And the response is, I'm afraid not. I always thought the punchline was not as (laughs) K-N-O-T. This morning, because this was another morning thing, or last night, whatever, last 24 hours, Andrew goes, and he's, what did you say? And I said, I'm afraid not. And he goes, it's not afraid. He's like, it's frayed. (laughs) Like, actually, frayed rope, like F-R-A-Y-E-D. Um, and I was like, that <laughs> totally was not. And this is why I have never been asked to homeschool my children and Andrew during COVID when the homeschool was quote unquote an option. <laughs> Andrew's like, no, 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 it's not an option for us. No, <laughs> we're not. No, Tori can't do that. And I have a full time job. Have so many other gifts. <laughs> I like to think so. <laughs> I'm very cute. I clean up real nice. Yes, you do. So if I just stand freshen up real good. Yeah. If I just stand there, maybe I can just look pretty. So I think we should talk about funny gifts we've received. (laughs) Women could really. I mean, we've had birthdays, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. You know, we have a lot of options. We do. And one time I don't know if I think it was Mother's Day. I can't remember. It was one of those moments. It couldn't have been Mother's Day. Because it was coming home from work is when my husband got it. So maybe it was Valentine's Day. We lived in an apartment above a CVS. So it was real convenient. In Chicago. In Chicago. It was real convenient to say like, hey, could you grab milk? Could you grab bread or Tylenol for the kid or whatever? Because that's really cheap. Bread, milk, and, you know, (laughs) something from the CVS. Well, it was convenient. That uh, was yes, a convenient huge factor <laughs> yeah, in yeah. Chicago. And for the record, uh, we're saying this in 2023. So <laughs> even now, can you imagine what bread and milk in a CVS is My now? Gosh. I can't even imagine. No. They're probably $20 a piece. I can't. I really can't. 
But I do believe that it was a came home from work and grabbed a gift and came up stairs, you know, up yeah. the little elevator. And the gift he gave me was an earwax cleaner. And I remember looking at him and being like, do I have a problem? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? This is a nice way to say, Tracy, you don't listen very well. <laughs> Just help me clean out your ears. I, I really don't know. I mean, we did have two kids at the time and maybe he just felt it was a good contraption. But, you know, we're reminded of those little things, little things often of what what was going through your mind other than desperate? Like, I need to bring her something. Yeah. At that point, just whatever card was left over on the side. Yeah, it better. Right. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh-huh. Uh, and this is going to be coming out around Valentine's Day. So let's hope that y'all get a better gift than an earwax cleaner. If not, send us a voice message of the, the gift that you got. And you don't have to say your name. We won't say your name, <laughs> but we would love to know just the the random gift or because appliances, right? Men are oh. so practical. So they're mm-hmm. like, well, we needed a vacuum. Yeah. No, that's not. Mm -mm. No, unless your wife specifically asks for the vacuum because she's a practical woman, you still you get the vacuum, but then you also get like flowers. Yeah. Or something that is a little less because even practical people like want something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's an here's an awkward present. So fascia is something in our bodies that's like a spider web. Okay, this is something for you to research if you if you're not familiar with it. But it's like a spider web that is all over our muscles, all over, I mean, skeleton, all the things, but it's it's like a spider web and it can contract. It gathers together and it makes like knots, okay? Mm-hmm. So that's where some of your trigger points come from and that's where some of like your pain, discomfort, tightness and muscles and things like that. A lot of times that's the fascia that has just scar tissue gets stuck in the fascia. Right. Okay. This is not a scientific episode, so don't quote me on any of this. <laughs> but so there is something called fascia blasters. And there's a woman out there that does it. And there's a whole thing. She's But she's got lots of different ones. And essentially, they are big pieces of plastic with little prongs that you're basically rubbing on your skin to break up the fascia because it's the roughness that's kind of separating the, the muscle and the fascia. Okay, so I've told you that part. It's not something that I would have just bought for myself randomly, so I asked for it for Christmas from Andrew. And I picked one that was probably like probably like eight inches long, okay? So, so not terribly big yeah, because... Oh, really? I, <laughs> Sorry. I had, she had to. I was Sorry. That, well played, well played. Um, <laughs> So I got that because I was thinking that I could anyways, and I opened it on Christmas or Christmas Eve, whatever day it was that we opened gifts. And my family was like one of our first Christmas here. So my parents were here for Christmas with us. And as I'm opening this gift, and this will be something we'll post to so you have an idea, just the visual of it. Andrew's like, that's what you wanted, right? And um, my mom goes, was she supposed to open this in front of us? <laughs> and my dad just turns bright red. And, <laughs> and they then, should have had the scientific definition of what first fascia is. is first. first. <laughs> there should have been some contacts for them. And then I was like, no, I asked for this. I said, it's a fascia blaster. And then again, <laughs> it just gets worse. And they're like, we don't need to know what you blast. <laughs> <I'm> like, just... <laughs> So that one, uh, that was a fun. You'll never uh, look at your fascia I, blaster the same I again. I have never looked at my fascia blaster the same again. So <laughs> that's something. All sorts of jokes that go with that clearly as we have just discovered. So that's another fun little gift. Yes. So I'm sure we have more. It's just that recall button in my brain. I just can't remember. Yes. Well, we, like I said, we'll do a whole episode of just <laughs> yours. This is like. I don't know if this guy still talks about it because he it's got to be one of the most awkward moments of his life or most terrifying. I don't know. I was in a Walmart. OK. And so I was pregnant with Jules. And so Emsley was probably like that. Twelve, maybe 13, 14 months. OK. And we're just getting used to like the waving and the hi, you know, hi, daddy. And, you know, da da things and so but she's sitting in the cart and if you do not know my husband is bald and if you have anything to say about that he's been bald the whole time I've known him and 
And my friends used to give me crap, but like, doesn't that bother you that he's bald? Because we got married when I was 21 and they're like, he's like always going to be bald. And I'm like, yeah, but here's the deal. He's always going to be bald. One day you're going to wake up and your husband's going to be bald and then you're going to have to get used to it. And then they're like, oh, and I'm like, "Mm, see, yep, Mm -hmm. there you go. Good point. All right. So anyways, so we were in this and then all of a sudden, Emsley, we're walking in Walmart and a man who is bald walks past us and Emsley goes, and the guy goes, no, no, not mine. So good. The look of fear on that man's face. Oh, my God. Was just so priceless. Oh, that's amazing. And I was just like, I, there was no time. I mean, like the amount of speed that he picked up walking away from us. It was just like, get away, get away, because the woman's not going to drop me. There's no time to like, no, her daddy's. Bo- All right. Did. All right. Yeah. Clearly, you're you you've got some kind of you've got some kind of trauma going <laughs> there in that story. So, but that one was really good. But that the awkward of like, hi, Dada, and no, no, that you know when you're kind of like, no, no, I know she knows you're not her father. <laughs> yes, clearly. Oh, so good. So, so good. But all that to oh. say, I hope this has brightened your day. Okay, yes. I hope that this has made you crack a smile giggle, laugh out loud, or, you know, laugh till your sides hurt or tear up because you can relate to it or, or wet your pants or wet your pants. All all degrees. OK, like even if it was just a huh, kind of chuckle. Yeah. OK, and hopefully this like brings back some of your own memories. Yes. And some of those fun memories. Right. The stuff that you can laugh at. You can laugh at then, you know. Oh, one more. This one's on Andrew. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. I have to this one because we're we were talking about kids and leaving kids places, which oh that could be a whole That's whole, be a whole episode. episode. Yes, the whole you leave your kid. Yeah. See, yeah. every time we finish an episode, we come up with the title for another episode. That's true. Well, we should actually go back and listen to other ones because <laughs> we're not writing these down. Yeah. I remember Andrew had I was pregnant with Emsley and Andrew still had his Honda Accord at the time. And the back had like a like kind of like a spoiler that was there. And he was leaving for work one morning and he had put a bottle of water on top of the car and gotten in the car and started to to drive away. And then the water bottle actually like as he was pulling out of the driveway, water bottle flew off and like busted. And I saw him for whatever reason I was watching him leave. And I was just like, wait, because I could see it happening and he couldn't. And so he comes back in the driveway, realizing after the water fell off and busted. And he comes out and he rolls down the window and he goes, I may not be ready to have children yet. <laughs> I just said so quick. Just don't leave our children on top of the, the car. car. <laughs> I mean, anywhere else, just not on top of the car. Yeah. So we definitely um, had those moments. Yeah. So I just like I said, I hope that this is something that when you have that mom fail and you are feeling ridden with guilt and upset, or, you know, and whatever, come back, listen to this episode and go, oh, my God, we all do it. And it's OK. And. They're not going to call CPS on me. <laughs> and it, well, not yet. We didn't. Not yet. I haven't. <laughs> yeah. I have stories about my mom that they could call CPS. on. <laughs> I think we have those yeah. too, right? Like, how did your parents almost screw you up? Or did they? Or did they? they already, and now you're I'm totally fine. <laughs> I'm totally fine. And now you're in therapy. You actually are. <laughs> sorry, That's mom. Sorry, mom dad. dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we uh, just want you to laugh and laugh at yourself. Yes. With yourself. Nope. No. Nope. at yourself. <laughs> you can laugh with yourself, too, if that's where you're at. By all means, y'all. We just... It's, it's not even 12, and we've only had not. coffee. And, and believe it or not, we're not drinking. That's <laughs> more amazing. So anyways, this is for you guys. I hope we made you smile. Share this with a friend who's having a bad day. And tag us and hashtag mom fail, wife fail, and all the me things. Fail. Me fail. <laughs> <laughs> that could be another shirt. Hashtag me fail. Mm-hmm. There we go. Bring the joy in. <laughs> Hashtag me fail. All right, housewives. We will see you next week. Sweet. Thank you. Bye.
Whether we made you laugh or cry today, we pray you feel appreciated, bolder and braver than yesterday, stronger and more faithful for tomorrow, and living in who you were made to be today. Join our online community on Facebook, link in the show notes, and be sure to review and subscribe on Apple Podcasts or wherever you enjoy listening. Until next time, housewives, we give you permission to walk confidently, free, and to be intentional in your slippers or stilettos.